Okay guys, so there are a lot of assessments out there that teaches you how to assess your foot but uh, a lot of it is complicated and I'm here to make it very simple for you guys. So assessing our foot posture or how our foot moves dynamically means we're gonna be walking. So I'm gonna give you three ways on how to assess your foot dynamically and you can choose which of these tests you wanted to use or you can combine this three test for you to make an informed decision and for you to solidify your findings on your assessment so the first step in assessing foot posture is looking at your foot pressure when you walk so people who tend to be over pronators when they walk they will feel their foot pressure on the inner side of your foot so what i want you to do guys for you to stand up of course you have your shoes and then just walk and then while walking be conscious of your foot pressure if you feel it on the inner side of the foot it's more than likely that you are an over pronator if you feel it on the outer side of the foot it's more than likely that you are an over supinator if you don't feel it either on inner side or outer side most likely your foot pressure is distributed properly so you don't have any problem with that and you can categorize your foot as it moves neutral meaning it can access both pronation and supination properly or well so if you guys haven't seen the topic on foot pressure so just go back on the third series of this plantar fasciitis series so we talk about weight plantar fasciitis and the secret sauce for plantar fascia treatment which is your foot pressure if you look at it so we have this tripod posture or tripod position of the foot wherein we need to be able to have foot pressure on the ball of the foot on the toe on the big toe and on the heel so if you're over pronator so you don't feel half of that triangle and you just feel it on the inner side of the foot if you're an under pronator or your foot is overly supinated you will feel it You'll just feel your foot pressure when you are walking on the outside of the foot. Okay guys, the second way for you to assess your foot dynamically is to look at your shoes. So your shoes don't lie because that's what you wear. It records the history of your foot movement. So if you have a shoes that is like six months old, that's a good specimen to review and check on how your foot moves or how your foot behaves when you walk over pronators tendency is to wear the inner side of the soles of your shoes more than the outer side and it's the reverse with over supinators wherein they wear more the outer part or the pinky part of the shoes while neutral foot people wear shoes in the middle so that's how you can see and check and assess what's your foot profile by just looking at your shoes the third one which is uh, probably the most tedious one is uh, for you to record yourself walking. So you need a friend and you need a treadmill for this test. You ask them to film the back part of your foot, so on the heel part, and you start walking on the treadmill. While they're recording, it has to be on a slow motion. And then you have to observe how your heel moves when it flattens or touches the ground and the treadmill people who are over pronators their heel turns outward and then their ankles turn in when they are over pronators and then it's the reverse with people who are over supinator wherein they have this high arc they cannot turn in on their ankle and foot and then just plant the outer side of their foot and then propel it up once you understand how your foot moves how your foot behaves you can now start looking at shoes for your specific foot type